item. We will define a constructor item ID and price. Something similar to the previous example. However, we will add some things to this one, which we did not do in the previous example. So it's a very simple example, except for what I did was I created a blank line to differentiate between each set of items. There is another way to display individual items as well. So individual properties can also be displayed like this print item one price is item one dot and i can just display the price just like that individual so without calling the property i can actually do Oops, just the price. So item two, price is item two dot price. Okay, so run your code after that and it should display you just the price. So I wrote lines 19 and 20, which allows me to tap into the individual properties of each instance as opposed to displaying all properties. And how does that benefit me? Well, I could not only display individual items, let's say if I want to figure out, display most expensive of the two items. So now I can compare them in an if condition. If item one dot price is greater than item two dot price, then I can print Item one is more expensive. Else, item two is more expensive. So when I now run this, it tells me that item two is more expensive. So I could compare their individual properties to see which one of the two objects is more pricey. And for example, let's go up to line number 12 and make item number one $12.33 as opposed to $2.33 and then rerun the program for you to see the output that it now says item one is more expensive. Now let's give both items the exact same price. And now it starts saying that item two is more expensive still because the if condition is not true. So it thinks whatever is else is the only choice, right? So now let's fix that. I said L if item one dot price is less than item two dot price, then item two is more expensive else Item 
one and item two have same price. So now, when we run it, it will now display item one and item two have the same price.